Hello everyone, welcome to Yosemite, uh, also known as Yosemite Valley. This is sort of a nature area that we're going to go by on horseback for the first part. And there's actually quite a bit of stuff here, so we'll be checking out everything if we can. Um, on this on this level, there is a lot of horses that you can actually ride around for free. And there's a lot of trails here that we'll just be going by on horseback, checking out the surrounding nature, things like that. actually found this place off of Second Life 14th birthday. They had a booth exhibit there. The area looked nice, so I made sure to grab a landmark for it. A couple of other places around, though. One apparently is already closing, which is kind of weird that they had an exhibit at uh, SL14B. Not this place though. This place seems to be up fully and running. Looks beautiful. Oftentimes don't end up going towards these foresty sims a lot because they tend to work pretty hard on my computer, but this one actually seems to be actually very, very soft. Has good frames. Horse right in the middle of the trail. I guess we'll go ahead and shortcut off this way to the right. Uh, the teleports work off of essentially certain spots on the map right here. I guess that spot would be a spot where you could teleport to and back. Some of the signs are still trying to res up a bit. Looks like we're heading towards the campground next. Somebody reading a book out here in the woods. Yeah, so it looks like you could hang out here and have a campfire or stay at camp. Very nice. Looks like we're heading towards uh, a meadow next. Tolomine Meadow, I guess you. I'm not sure how you would actually pronounce that. But yeah, it seems to be right here. They also have, as I can see, they have one of the off region seating things, which these mountains and whatnot are actually not part of the region. They're part of something that they put outside the region. Always adds a good bit of depth to whatever is being made. Works particularly nice here. Just flaying through this meadow, essentially. I oh, can't seem to slow down. How do I? That might do it. See some deer and another horse back there. Yep, looks like we've slowed down again. Some bears up ahead, better stay away. And then even more bears up ahead. Little rocks. Can sit here and have a chat, perhaps. And it looks like we've circled all the way around the trail already. So we'll go ahead and hop off our horse here and take a look at the 
house that's over there. Once again, going as my B, because why not? These are all the teleports and things to it. There was quite a few on the left here that we've already been to just by going around this area. But there's quite a few on the right that I think are actually on another level, so we'll be taking a look at that once we're done here. Could probably take another look at the campground while we're here as well. Oh, very nice. Free satchel if you want it if you come here. For the case of this video, I think I'm just going to name it Yosemite because, as I said, there's other things here besides the Yosemite Valley. But Yosemite is, in fact, the name of the region. Second Life Newser. Saw a booth for them at uh, SL14B as well. At least I think it was them. And this seems to be telling us about the actual Yosemite Valley. Ooh, that's a bit grisly. <laughs> and these are... I've seen a version of those before, but some of them could be... Some of them sometimes have waterfalls that actually move in the picture. That's an actual gif right there. We actually have a 3D, 3D map, that's pretty neat. And these perhaps are just like advertisers or something like that. And we have a little, uh, I guess we could call it like a dining room area here perhaps. See some interesting gifts here for sure. Yeah, it's more like a lounge, I guess. And here are the pictures I was talking about before. The waterfalls in them are actually moving, which is a neat little effect. Where was the guest book? Uh, here it is. We'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. I always like taking a look at them when I come across them. Uh, quite a few of them here. Looks like perhaps a sitting spot around here in the forest. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Very neat.
And here's the campgrounds once again. It's a uh, fairly basic. You got your picnic table, your campfire, and your box of things, and your sleeping tent. And these notes appear to just tell us how to make the poses work on the bench. Pretty nice place, I have to say. Guess we can't actually teleport uh, to different places from one of these spots. We have to actually find one of the bigger costs. Yeah, the wolves are here. Or are they coyotes? I'm not quite sure. More of them hanging out in these rocks here. One looks like it's about to stare down the other. They're pretty plentiful around here, actually. In any case, I think we'll head over here towards the teleporter pad here. Pick out another spot to go to. Here's a nice group area of where the horses are just hanging out. I guess perhaps they're made to come back to the spot after a while. Nice view here, actually. Um, let's see. I guess we'll go to the Shinzen Japanese Garden next, because that's obviously not here. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, took us to a different level entirely. Another big place to look at, I guess. Okay, I've given it a little time to load up, so we should be good now. Definitely a different feel here from the nature park we were just at before. Looks wonderful so far how it's been put together. Ah, uh, that leads to another section. From what I saw off of my cam, this area is section off into four areas. This area right here making a quarter of it, and there's two other ones that appear to be perhaps housing spots, so we may be skipping over them. Whoops, there goes that. You 
can see some reeds in the water here. This is like a tea house or something, I think. Oh, that looks really nice. All the cherry blossoms falling off like that. And I think that area over there leads into the section I was talking about as well. So we'll continue going around the path here because I think it leads back where we started. Have some art prints right here. Well, there's a person here, and it looks like they're dressed up as a Mew. I wasn't quite expecting to find that here. Looks like we found a temple in any case. Quite a number of free gifts here. That one doesn't look like it actually moves. Yeah, it appears we're heading towards back where we came, and then after that point, I think we're going to fly for a bit. Oh, I didn't see those steps there. Alright then. Yeah, you can see what I'm talking about now. These look like they're... owned houses of a sort. So I figured I'd just show them off a little bit from the air here, and then we're gonna move ahead and go over. This other set over here looks to be about the same, so this area is probably going to be the only one that we actually go to. Just give it a little bit of a flyover real quick. 
You actually see the meters in front of the places in some spots. Another section of Yosemite right here. Though I'm not sure which one this counts as on the board. Hmm. This little section right here is a little bit more dense than what we've seen before, I think. And we have a lot of the more charcoal looking leaves right here. Ah, it's Lantern Point, okay. Memorial of some sort here. Looks like it could be for a couple people. Oh, this is nice. And there's a couple of other nests around. Hmm, they don't allow us to go to them from the outside, it looks like. We'd have to go through the teleporter. Which is probably a couple of scattered around the trees. Well, it looks like most of what we'd need at this point would probably be over here on the right. I think on the left we've seen everything besides the base jumping platform, so... Okay, everything's rezzed up quite a bit more now. So I'll go ahead and check out this giant store, which I believe is probably owned by the person that owns this place. They have essentially quite a bit of what's on sim on sale here. Nice little design, especially the one on the left. Textures are still want, still wanting to blur a bit. None of these pictures appear to be moving, though. These are nice, especially the starry sky one I saw for a moment. Giant crayon set. Hmm. Just an assortment of things out here, really. Some drawer space, some paintings.
I'm having a bit of a uh, connection issue on this region, which is something I actually get fairly less than what I do with the frame drops. A bit strange, I have to say, but other than that, everything else has been fairly perfect. But every once in a while, I'll just start uh, gliding, like right now. And it'll take me a few moments before I gain control again. There we go. Seems to, have, seems to have only really started when I got up to this level, so... I don't know if perhaps that has something to do with it. Let's go ahead and head upstairs, and we have a whole other section of stuff to look at. I actually like the layout of the store quite a bit. It has a very good variety to things. Now we're getting into some black and white pictures here. It's amazing to think how far we've come from black and white photography. Ooh, that looks nice. One more level of this stuff, and then I think we hit uh, what looked like a dance area, perhaps. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, they have a teleport for the roof. Okay. Looks like there's something else back here, though. Ah, yeah, it's a little, uh, dining area. Okay. That's neat. Ah, yeah, it's a cafe, that's what it is. And we have a bit more, uh, entertainment stuff back there. Yep, this was a dance spot. In any case, we'll go ahead and look down below at the other stuff now. It looks like uh, these are either houses that are for sale, so they don't have anything in them, or they're perhaps housing, housing units. I think these ones over here are probably uh, housing spots. But, uh... Yeah, these bigger ones over here I think may be just uh, for showing to sell. Because I saw signs in front that didn't look like the rent spot signs. Some of these look like good houses, though. Yeah, it looks like they have a little bit of a shopping plaza here, and they also have what looks to be an art forest of sorts in the middle. So that's the two things we'll be focusing on right now. Plus, I'm just going to surf through as, uh, I don't think usually looking at stores is a too particularly big thing, so. Just going to text refresh this sign if I can.
That's a nice looking stuff in the back. And I can already tell just by this blur it seems to be advertising a full perm fair, which probably means a lot of textures. And we got coffin cabinets over here. Digital farm system. Guess if you want that farming simulator. Some homes for sale. Nothing in here it looks like. This one's reserved though, hmm. This one I guess is just up for anybody to come by. This seems to be the other big shop here. Looks like it has some Maitre Maitreya stuff in it. Guess we can sneak a peek in here and look upstairs too. Since it's a bigger store. Yep, just appears to be uh, clothing for the most part. We can go ahead and check out this middle area here, which apparently appears to be filled with a bunch of art. And there's a little bit of stuff right here beside it, too. Looks like a bit of uh, abstract stuff. Artists in Residence Rage Darkstone. Hmm. Neat. Never heard of the picture, pixel, pixel to pixel foundation before. Ooh, that looks nice. Surprising pyramid. Guess we'll see what the surprise is. Uh, it's falling. I probably should have seen that one coming. Moving along, it looks like there is some sort of silver thing in front of us. Mothership, just doodling with prims. That's pretty nice for doodling. I wonder what this is. The kid in you. Step into step onto the circle. It's a pop art event. Well that's what it was from. Ooh, that's nice. <coughs> And now it's raining crayons. Just gonna let them rest up for a moment. Very nice, very nice. And there's probably another one right over there. Hmm. 
And we have some more statues over here. Art Tornado. This will be interesting to see. You can see a couple of works of art in there. I think it just got a little faster, too. And I think that's it for this level, so let's see what else there is for us at the moment. <clears throat> uh, there's the base jumping platform that I'll probably look at last. Most of this other stuff, uh, the only ones I'm not sure on would be the cafe and the crystal ballroom. The ball one we definitely haven't been to, so let's go ahead and go to that one. Uh, I guess this was, this was for our anniversary event. I wonder how long ago that was. This looks nice. Especially since it actually makes noise, too. I'm curious of why they would actually need to teleport up the stairs and downstairs when it's uh, such a small spot anyways. Hmm. Crystals on the table make a nice touch. And oh, the chandelier again. Chandelier. Couldn't quite pronounce that word for some reason at the moment. But it is a very nice spot. I wonder if they keep on using it for events. Or if this is just for, like, a memoric thing. Uh, the cafe? I'm not quite sure if we've been there or not. Ah, yes we have, okay. This is what they were talking about. Alright then, then we'll go ahead and go to the base jumping spot, and that'll end our tour. right over where we began okay I need the HUD and I need a shoot I can do that alright got them on so let's go ahead and jump page down twice there we go. And that slows our descent to be able to see the area from above. I actually have the draw distance pumped all the way up, so it is showing up pretty detailed down there already. Yeah, I wonder where we're going to aim. What should we aim for? That's the question. Uh, I think the meadow might be a good spot. In any case, I would definitely say to come and take a visit to here. As I said, the region is named, named uh, Eucinemite, like the name of the video is going to be. And it's like a really... Whatever they did here to not have frame drops is pretty incredible, especially for forest setting. 
So all in all, I definitely would say it's a good trip, and potentially you can go ahead and buy stuff, or even rent a house here if you want. In any case, this was yet another video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then.